Hey, 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 everybody. What's going on? Back in the bush. Friday afternoon. Heading out to show you what's left of the garden. Regrettably, we had a frost. So, we don't know if there's anything left out here or not. What's going on? But the frost hit hard enough that it pretty well knocked the beans out. And the pumpkins and all that. Anybody that saw the video last week that uh, the beans were looking wonderful and we hadn't got a harvest yet but and it didn't hit them didn't kill them but look at them pretty bad they get hit pretty hard with frost so and even the pumpkins really killed all the runners over there what a shame squash and everything here we might be able to harvest a bit of beans out of here i'm not sure yet but we're going to See what we can do. Like, look at the squash, man. Oh, man, did that ever grow? Even since last week. That's a nice little squash. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. The size of that, nice. that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Not bad at all. And that vine isn't dead yet. Maybe and there's more. two more here. So, more so we might. Yeah. Nothing in there, though. No, no pumpkins. That's a weird looking little squash there, too, though. Well, Just juveniles. Anyway, something is uh, just devouring the uh, Brussels sprout plant. Something eating that hardcore. And the bean, like these are supposed to be bush beans. Look at these things. That's not, that's craziest looking bush bean I've ever seen. And the sad part, these are just covered in blossoms. Look, there's your sunflower <laughs> that <know>. you grew. <laughs> covered in blossoms. What a mess. Oh, look. Is there, yeah? Yeah. the size. Like, look, there's chard here, like, uh, Brussels sprouts, look at those. They don't look too bad. And look at the chard, if I pull the beans out of it this way, there's actually chard under here that we can probably eat Swiss chard. Yep. Because it will live a lot longer than the beans will, so. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, it's just a tangled up mess here right now. Look at it all. And these are supposed to be climbers. Or these are supposed to be a pole bean, but or a bush bean. Look at the beans here, look. There's some definitely nice beans here, so. We're gonna pick what we can here and uh, harvest a little bit anyway. I'll talk to you guys in a little while. So anyways, this is kind of cool. I am gonna show you guys my neighbor's little bunky that she's building this is across the road here where I put in the ditch and all that she gave me the approval that I can show this place she doesn't want to be on camera anyways pretty cute looking little spot she got going on here I'm telling you that's uh, the bunky yeah they went up the road there was a car just went by wondering who it was anyways this is the bunky she's building and I gotta say I like it it's got pine is that pine on the side pine on the side and it started as an a-frame and then she wanted to add a room so she added a pretty good freaking room if you ask me it's a good size and it's cozy and check this place out got herself a little wood stove princess auto gotta love it and it's so nice in here what's the dimensions this eight by twelve But eight by 14 inside here with the, you know, with the, it's kind of half A-frame and then she put the sloped shed roof on the front, so. And give her credit, she's doing it 95% herself, so. Pretty interesting little spot for sure. Beautiful little spot. Cozy, cozy, cozy. Pretty neat, eh? Especially the, the pine siding and that she put on the outside, so. It's gonna, uh, gonna be nice, she gets her done. The girl's got some drive for sure to do this herself. Gotta love it. So anyways, we got a good little harvest the yellow beans look at that even though they frost got half of the plants there's still quite a bit on there so stole an apple across the road there's an apple tree been growing in there for since I bought the camp here on the neighbor's land it's actually pretty tasty now it got me want to go apple picking because there's a couple apple orchards over here in the area that's actually really good Anyways, we're going to head in the camper in a little bit. Well, it is harvest day for potatoes. So we're going to go out 
And the garden out front here. We've already had a pretty busy morning, actually. It's actually Saturday morning now. We already got a bunch of wood split inside in the camp and just getting prepped for the winter, basically. Getting some things done. But it's a beautiful day again. It's like 20 degrees, 70 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit out here. And the potatoes have been dead for a while, so we got to get these things dug because if we don't, they're going to end up rotting quite quick. So... Actually, the last two rows of plants aren't dead yet, but we're going to dig some up here and see what we make out. I guess the agreement's I'm going to hoe them up and Cindy's going to dig them up. So I don't think there's anything right here. We got some out of here last week, but a couple nice ones, just little guys. Great big worm which is nice to see because I never had worms in here before. There's a nice potato. Never had worms in here before. So if there's no worms, there's not much of anything, right? Look at the size of that guy. That's a big one. Wow. Well, nice one there. Getting a few here, so far. This one there. The soil is looking really good now. Put a lot of amendments in it over the last few years. as many as what I thought. Getting a few here, but... I was optimistic bringing out two buckets. Like there's nothing on some of these. Sorry. There's nice ones. With a big old night crawler, look at that. Never used to get these in here. But the ones that are here are beautiful potatoes. But yeah, I don't think we need two buckets. Yukon gold. Yukon gold. They are nice looking potatoes, huh? Yeah, they didn't go up the red. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the big old night crawlers. Look at them all. Man, oh man. That's really nice to see. Because there never used to be hardly any worms at all in here. I come out here to dig worms a couple years ago. Couldn't even find a freaking worm. Now it's full of night crawlers. Dry row number two. See if there's any more in this one. That first one a bit disappointing. I'm not going to lie to you. Start this end, I guess. There's nice ones. Whoops. I can bend. Thank you. One right there. Big fat guys. Look at the size of that. I'll show them that. The size of that. <laughs> right down my toe. Big old potato. There you go. A couple of nice ones again. There are no scabs on them. They look really healthy, the ones that are here. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, they're nice looking potatoes. But they're not as plentiful as I thought they'd be. I thought there would be more. Because it was a good year for them. Sort of. That was wet. The soil is definitely getting better. Those are nice looking potatoes, though. Mm -hmm. 
That one started cracking. Yeah. Little guy. Even these little ones are tasty. Nothing there. Crazy. Some of the plants didn't put anything out. The whole way down here. Nope. Oh, there you go. Bunch on that one. And they are. They're nice, big, big spuds. The biggest ones I've grown here yet. We had two rows of Yukon Gold, and the other two are red potatoes. So we'll try them next. Well, let's see how the red potatoes did. Because the plants are actually still growing here a little bit. They haven't died off yet. There you go. Nice red ones. There's a nice big red one. The size of that. Nice potato. Sorry. Not as many as I thought. Another good one. The ones that did grow grew really nice. They just weren't real plentiful. Each plant didn't put out much. There you go. Thank you. Delivery. Yeah. There you go. She's only getting like one off each plant, one or two. That's kind of sad. Well, we'll finish digging. I'll be back here when we're done to show you what we got for our harvest. We didn't do too bad. Look at that. 20, 25 pounds of potatoes in there, probably 20 pounds, I think. Yeah, that's a pretty good little haul. So, excuse me, we are going to head back into the cabin, I think, now and take it easy for a while. Well, it's Sunday morning already. We didn't film a lot yesterday. We ended up hanging out with a neighbor a bit next door with her new cabin she's putting up, her little bunkie over there. And then we went up the road, another neighbor I haven't seen in about a year. Uh, they were here, <laughs> went up and hung up with them for a bit. So I didn't really turn the cameras on and do much. Uh, we did the garden, it's Sunday morning right now, by the way, we're almost ready to leave. Seven degrees out here, but it's a beautiful, beautiful calm morning. It's gonna be another nice day. Got the potatoes all pulled yesterday, and I didn't even show you guys when we brought the truck over yesterday, we had two thirds of a load of wood in it. And this is actually all maple. This is very nice. Uh, this is all maple, maple. There's a little tiny bit of spruce mixed in with it, but most of this row and the row behind is maple. So basically we got a full row of maple, but it's wet. There was an ad on Facebook Marketplace there last week, and a tree that had just come down the west side of the city actually, and uh, they needed it chunked up, and they needed it taken out of there. So lucky, a little bit of work, and then split it. The, the pieces were all different, random sizes and random lengths, and uh, took it home, split it all, processed it all. Got another nice chopping block out of it, that lower one there. I had this up yesterday to split a bunch of kindling and stuff I split up here. Uh, I'm just splitting up small. That's maple, that's spruce, that's cedar. And again, another new chopping block, so looking good. What we'll have to do when we start burning, we'll burn off the back side of the pile first because it's going to take that stuff a while to dry, even if we can burn it this winter. This pile that we get in here all last week, this was soaking wet and it's drying out quick again because we've got it up and the air can flow through it now, which is nice. There's some more wood close to their house we're going to get next week. Um, there's another, the same lady that had this stuff in Marketplace. This, this was actually at a house that her son rents. The house that she lives in, actually, which is out in the area, very close, it's about a half a mile from where we live, not even a mile. Um, she has a bunch that was there in the backyard, it's older firewood. 
that it's been there racked up for a few years now but it's like a 24 26 inch length it's way too long so what we're going to do it's it's a good little jag of wood it should fill this up uh what we're going to do and it's dry so what we're going to do is take the miter saw silly as it is and it's just it's fairly close behind our house tailgate in my truck with my my big miter saw and run an extension cord hopefully out of our garage and uh, i'm going to power it up that way cut it all in half which will get about 12 or 14 inch piece which is fine i keep a lot of it smaller even though the wood stove will burn bigger stuff so we're going to bring that over here next weekend actually no it won't be next weekend next weekend's thanksgiving so maybe even someday through the week this week we might actually bring it over and uh, get that in here It'd be kind of cool to actually do that so that'll be we'll be full with firewood for the year haven't even had the time yet i'm gonna wait a little bit on that big tree i think that big angle tree out there we're worried about having not enough wood to fill this rack up but there you go we already got that's well over a quart of wood sitting there and i got something new up my sleeve that this wood's going to be used for so this is going to be going home and this is going to be going right in the house and hopefully i can dry this quick with a dehumidifier because i've got some different thing that <laughs> we're going to start doing too here soon and uh, that may be a little bit of overland camping with an atv so with a trailer i'm in the process of building right now so to haul all our gear so anyway today i've heard of a hot tent uh, i ordered a hot tent i got one of them on the way too because I had that ammo can stove that some of you guys might have seen in the video. My little stove I made out of an ammo can. Never really used it other than just to play around. Well, we're going to heat a tent with it. So we're going to head to the bush and Cindy's okay with that. So I ordered a teepee tent. Looks like an Indian style. And uh, an old teepee tent. And we're going to try to use that so this winter a little bit. So could be kind of interesting. So stay tuned for some of that silliness. Anyway it's sunday again we're gonna pack up and get out of here soon so i think i will probably cut this video off very soon and uh, it's it was really nice to see that i had i had doors everywhere here i had two spare doors i had one that sat there had this one and i donated one to the girl across the road that's built the new bunkie over there and i had no hinges on i had no knob and then i get looking they were here yesterday and i found a set of hinges that I actually took off the door and then i went looking and i found a knob and then i funny i went on the keychain and i actually found a key to fit the thing so i got her set totally right up with the new door over there so not new to her old to uh, old to me so i thought it was kind of cool to donate and help her out a little bit i'm going to go back over there and dig some more trenches here soon too she still needs a bit more of a ditch brought down from the back uh, to help drain everything off because there's still some water problems there so it's but it's way 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 better what i've already done so her property has dried up considerably over the mess that was there initially so it was a win-win what i already did in there so again i guess for now um we're going to sign out of here for now and not going to shut her down because we're going to just pack up some stuff catch the cats and head home and i want to work on my little trailer it's going to be hauled beyond an atv so uh, nice to have you guys here. Like and subscribe if you like this content. Kind of all over the place and it's going to get even more so here in the future. It's not just going to be the cabin here. We're going to be doing a bunch of different stuff. So, And now we're going to try some winter overland teepee tent with a wood stove in it. Camping. I'm kind of looking forward to it. You might wonder why when you have something like this you'd want to do something that silly, but why not? It's always nice to change it up and do something different. Anyways, from now, from me to you guys, uh, you know what? And Cindy's inside, start to pack stuff up. If nothing else, just live simply, remain grateful, and you know, hang around, and we'll talk to you soon.